The Frankie DeBusk Show is a special presentation of the Pioneer Sports Network. The Frankie DeBusk Show. With head coach Frankie DeBusk. Brought to you in part by Greenville Federal Bank. Celebrating 50 years of service in Greenville and Green County. Applebee's, your neighborhood bar and grill. There's no place like the neighborhood. Laughlin Memorial Hospital. Whatever you do, do it well. Sodexo, a world leader in food and facilities management services. Sodexo, making every day a better day. Your Greenville Light and Power System, serving Greenville and Green County since 1945. Andrew Johnson Bank, a strong heritage, a stronger future. Home-owned and operated with locations in Greenville, Morristown, Jonesboro, Johnson City, and Cleveland. Green Coach Tours, celebrating their 65th anniversary. Grand Rental Station, anything you'll ever need to rent or buy. Consumer Credit Union, with three convenient locations in Greenville and Moss High. Creekside Markets, don't pass by, stop by, with three locations in Green County. Comcast Cable, call Comcast and ask about the Comcast Triple Play, TV, Internet, and phone. Comcast. And now, the voice of the pioneers, Brian Staten. Hello again and welcome to another edition of the Frankie DeBus Show. I'm Brian Staten to be joined by Pioneer Coach Frankie DeBus. The Tusculum Pioneers had started the season at 3-0 and were ranked 24th in the country. And they welcomed the Urbana Blue Knights to Pioneer Field for only the second home game this year for Tusculum College. It would also be the final tune-up before South Atlantic Conference play would begin. The tune-up indeed it would be. The Pioneers would come from behind, trailing 36-31 in the fourth quarter. And with 24 seconds, Bo Cordell found Calvin Britt for the game-winning touchdown as the Pioneers go for two and win 39-36. We welcome in Pioneer Coach Frankie DeBusk, an Urbana team that I think is improving year in and year out, new to Division II somewhat. You've played them every year since they've been a Division II member, and every game has been a close competitive contest. You know, they're, they're very similar with athletes and compared to what we, we are. We recruit sort of the same kind of kid, and uh, I was very impressed with how prepared they really were to come in here to win the football game. Um, I told their coach when the game was over that, he had his team prepared enough to win the game. They probably outplayed us in a lot of phases, but uh, fortunately for us, we found a way to put a few more points on the board at the end of the ball game. But they have a good program. Uh, we will play them at their place in two or three years. We return the trip, and that will be the end of the series. And actually, was talking with the coaches after the game about maybe trying to, to re-up the series again. But it's, it's been a good uh, three ball games. Obviously, we're 3-0 we're and against them, and hopefully we can continue to, to move forward with this, this season. But uh, impressed with how they played. They've got some new players um, and really, really proud of how our team responded uh, with so much adversity and, and not playing like we should or could and things not going our way, having a bunch of penalties and a bunch of penalty yards and, and turnovers, things that, that usually get you beat. But uh, I told our kids how, how impressed I was that we found a way to win in the end. The Tusculum Pioneers do win in the end and improved to 4-0. and Since the 2002, the Pioneers hadn't started out like this. Only the fourth time in school history they started out at 4 and 0. We'll find out how they did that when we come back when we take a look at your highlights. That's when the Frankie DeBus show continues after this. Greenville Federal Bank, proudly celebrating 50 years of service in Greenville and Green County. Greenville Federal Bank is banking made easy. Visit online at greenvillefederalbank.com. The best deal in the neighborhood just got better with more to love on the 2 for 20 meal only at Applebee's. Applebee's is a proud sponsor of the Frankie DeBus TV show and side of the Frankie DeBus radio show. Applebee's on the bypass in Greenville. There's no place like the neighborhood. Laughlin Memorial Hospital provides innovative, caring, compassionate service to their patients and the community through integrity and honesty in all that they do. Laughlin Memorial Hospital in Greenville since 1939. Whatever you do, do it well. Your Greenville Light and Power System, an electrical distributor of TVA, serving Greenville and Green County since 1945. Your Greenville Light and Power is dedicated to excellence in service and reliability. Visit online at glps.net. Welcome back to the Frankie DeBusk Show. Once again, the voice of the pioneers, Brian Staten. The 
The Tuscaloosa Pioneers play Urbana for the final non-conference game of the season. For the fourth time as well, they take on, actually the third time as well, they take on the Blue Knights. Tuscaloosa would come from behind. It would be an interesting contest nonetheless. We'll take a look at your first quarter highlights brought to you by Greenville Federal Bank. I tell you, Brian, our, our band right there, David Price coming over here from Greenville High School, I, I don't know that he really realizes how much we appreciate what our band's doing for, our, uh, for everything that's going on on game day. They bring a lot of excitement and I'm just, just so happy and thankful that we actually have put together a, a band that, that's given us a, a good environment and he's, he's bringing a lot to the table. You know, and it's interesting that with it being Saturday, there was another big ball game going on down the, uh, down the road. We still had a pretty good crowd as well. Yeah, it was a good crowd. There goes some people that mean a lot to me and my dad driving the golf cart. Glad to have him back on the sidelines and my son in the back holding on to two little ones. I remember when he was one of the little ones, so good to see that happening. But uh, it told our football team I wasn't real sure <clears throat> that we were ready to play. <clears throat> we get the first drive and Bo makes some good decisions and we drive down the field and score and, and that's a great uh, call by Mark Kolb and uh, I believe that was Michael Rodriguez on the big catch from over in Columbia, South Carolina. And, Here's Brian Marshall, one of our running backs that did so much for us on Saturday, not only running the ball, but in pass protection, moving the chains, and there he is picking up pass protection best that he can, and Bo makes a good throw down to Calvin, and you know, we, we feel, we're feeling good about things here early on, and they, they got some good defensive players that really put a lot of pressure on us all day long. They, they you, as you'll see a little bit later on as well, the pressure that they put from their down four and with Travis Briscoe really caused some problems for Cordell, but not on this drive. Six plays, 72 yards. Uh, surgeon-like precision right down the field as Michael Rodriguez catches his third touchdown of the season. I'm telling you, that catch was a great catch, and we'll get a chance to see it here. He, Bo makes a good throw. The court, the, we got a linebacker coming unblocked, and, and Bo stands in there as long as he can and delivers a ball, and Michael reaches out, and look at that. What a catch. Great catch by Michael Rodriguez, and he's really playing well for us. Michael's been very consistent. He's gotten better each and every week, and uh, he's really becoming one of our weapons on offense. That first drive, Rodriguez for 25, Britt for 27, then Rodriguez for 10. So kind of gives you an idea about the big play capability for the Pioneers in the very first drive. But as good as the offense was, again, with Rollins adding the point after, six plays, 72 yards, you take a 7 to nothing lead. Urbana was just as good equally on their very first drive as they, as we pick up the action with their very first drive, they begin at the their own 23-yard line, and they don't start with Mendenhall, but here is uh, Gaylert, who starts the football game, but it was really Mendenhall that hurt us on this afternoon. Well, Mendenhall is a much more athletic quarterback. We knew when, when uh, 15 was in the game they were going to throw the football. We knew when four was in the game, likelihood they were going to run it. And I'm going to tell you what, hats off to them. They had a really good plan for us. Uh, they found a way to, to move the chains. We, uh, we weren't really sure what to expect. And, they did a good job. There's Mason Fowler, I think, on one of his uh, big plays on the day. Just very excited about what he brings to the table. And here's one of the things they had a, a good plan against us. And fortunate that Kevin Weston and Carl Scott and Steve McGill, our defensive coaches, all got together and came up with a way to keep this from happening. But they just walked right down the field on the first drive and, and scored a touchdown. Eight plays, 77 yards, 310 off the clock. The point would be good and tied the game at seven. Mendenhall would go in from 18 yards. Later in the first quarter, it's the third drive. You force a punt to get the football back, and this shows you the big play capability of Rashad Carter. Two huge blocks there. I don't know if you got a chance to see them by uh, Katron Jelly Becton and uh, Cameron Myers, both true freshmen, and made big blocks for us. Uh, here's another throw from Bo to uh, Michael. Big uh, conversion there. And here's number 20 coming off the corner, and uh, you know we're, Eric Jefferson's one of our best players, and. 20 comes in there and causes a lot of problems. He was one of the best players that we've really ever played against. But uh, here's a throw out to Rashad. Rashad's got to hang on that football there. But fortunately, uh, we're moving the chains. And here they jump off sides and give us a free play. And I thought we were going to score right here. Just uh, you know, great effort by, by their, their people. And couldn't really tell if we were inbounds or not. But excited that we're, we're moving the chains a little bit offensively. Yeah, for Rashad Carter, that just kind of seems status quo. In the Charleston game, you may recall, right there in that same corner of the end zone, he made a one-handed grab for a touchdown. There it did appear as if his foot was out of bounds. But he comes right back to Carter and makes another phenomenal catch. <laughs> good throw, great catch. Uh, you know, Rashad's just it's a really good player for us. Our kids up front doing a great job protecting and helping each other out. Dustin Moorhead. Uh, uh, big Eric, and, and we got a bunch of guys up front really playing well for us right now. Rashad Carter with his third touchdown reception of the season. It took a four plays, 70 yards, just a minute 26 off the clock after the punt return by Carter. He caps it off with the reception in the back of the end zone. The Pioneers take a 
14 to 7 lead. But then some weird, really weird things start happening in this football game, and the turnover bug begins to hit not only Pioneers, but also uh, the Urbana Blue Knights. Yeah, we, we put a lot of stock in, in Bo, and Bo's played really well, but this is one of the errant throws that uh, he's got to get back. And, uh, you know, fortunately, he's, he threw a, a few picks, and the game's over, and we won the ball game. But we really got to continue to work on that. And he doesn't make those bad decisions. He just made a few bad choices there. And, uh, being a 19-year-old young man, unfortunately, he's going to do those things. But uh, he's still a great player for us, and uh, our defense goes out there, and we're giving it all we got. That's one thing I'll talk about our team as the game goes along. We were really playing as hard as we could play, and, and we had guys on the sidelines that were really having a hard time breathing when the game was over just because they played so hard. And here's another errant throw by Bo, and unfortunately, he's uh, got to eat that one, not try to force it in there. And I believe he got a little greedy at times, but uh, we got to make the tackle right there. You know, this, this running back gave us trou trouble all day long, but great hustle there. Uh, Rashawn Harris from Gaffney, South Carolina, run down the field and give us another chance on defense. And uh, you know we're, we're trying to hold our own, but unfortunately they get it in the end zone, and all of a sudden we got a big ball game. A turnover on an interception, then a fumble recovered by Jason Muling, and then an interception led to the touchdown set up by Turnbo from 43 yards away. Uh, Mendenhall goes in from two, so at the end of the first quarter. Here we are tied at 14 in a dogfight with the, with the team that gave us a fight last year up in Ohio as well. So uh, right now you're, you don't have a real easy feeling. Well, I knew it was going to be a good uh, hard-fought ball game, and uh, we made some, some errant throws and gave them the ball in some good positions. And we were playing as good as we could defensively, yet we were making some mistakes and not finishing things. And 14-14 after the first quarter, we got, a, we got a ball game on our hands. At the end of one, Tusculum and Urbana tied at 14. We'll be right back with more of the Frankie DeBuff Show. Greenville Federal Bank, proudly celebrating 50 years of service in Greenville and Greene County. Greenville Federal Bank is banking made easy. Visit online at greenvillefederalbank.com. The best deal in the neighborhood just got better with more to love on the two for 20 meal only at Applebee's. Applebee's is a proud sponsor of the Frankie DeBus TV show and side of the Frankie DeBus radio show. Applebee's on the bypass in Greenville. There's no place like the neighborhood. Laughlin Memorial Hospital provides innovative, caring, compassionate service to their patients and the community through integrity and honesty in all that they do. Laughlin Memorial Hospital in Greenville since 1939. Whatever you do, do it well. Your Greenville Light and Power System and electrical distributor of TVA, serving Greenville and Greene County since 1945. Your Greenville Light and Power is dedicated to excellence in service and reliability. Visit online at glps.net. Welcome back to the Frankie DeBusk Show. Once again, the voice of the Pioneers, Brian Staden. The Tusculum Pioneers and the Urbana Blue Knights tied at the end of one quarter at 14. We now take a look at your second quarter highlights brought to you by Applebee's. There's no place like the neighborhood. Again, Brian, we dug on in a, in a dog fight here, and <clears throat> we got to start making some plays. And uh, we almost make the catch, but I think there's a face mask, and we get to, to get to move the chains. Good throw here by Bo, but uh, fortunately for us, we got a break and, and get to keep it going. And I, I always thought it was interesting. This is the only third down you converted in the first half. And a week ago from Western Carolina, it seems like you were converting every time on third down. But Rodriguez for 51 yards, then Brian Marshall with a little toss onto the left. Thought he was going to score here. Uh, doesn't quite get into the end zone. It didn't take long, though, for Cordell. And this is a bullet in between double coverage right to Rodriguez again. Great throw and a great catch. I still wasn't real sure how we got it in there. Uh, I thought a guy looked like he was going to pick it. But just a <clears throat> good decision by Bo and great job by Michael catching the football and giving us points. Seemed to be a very uh, popular play for Bo, as we'll see later in the fourth quarter sometime. Very similar play right there instead of to Rodriguez. But for Michael, that is his fourth receiving touchdown this season. Both of them, or two of them occurring in this game. And it took seven plays, 76 yards, a minute 51 off the clock. You take a 21-14 to 14 lead. 